All right, boys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day. We're talking about some more FNAF news because it's been quite a long time since we last brought up some news. And a lot has happened since that last time, so let's not waste any more time. But before we do, you may be thinking, wait a second, didn't you say Security Breach Week was this week? And to that I say yes, but give me a minute, okay? Let me explain. SB Week, instead of seven, is gonna have a nine days in it, just cause I feel bad for delaying it so much that I threw on an extra two days. And if you do the math, if I start it tomorrow on Tuesday, It'll end the day before the second tech demo for Security Breach. But yeah, today we're going to be focusing on FNAF news. So if you're brand new, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Subscribe to the channel because like I just said, we have nine days of Security Breach content to talk about. And also, I cover so much FNAF news you don't want to miss out. And also hit the like button and tell me in the comments down below, how was your Easter? Did you have fun? And speaking of Easter, a clean segue into our first topic of FNAF news news today we have FNAF AR in the news because if you missed it they released their melted chocolate bonnie skin the other day on the 31st of march they tweeted out spring has sprung and we're simply hopping with excitement is it time for treats too sweet to eat and then of course the next day they released the melted chocolate bonnie skin oh my looks like melted chocolate bonnie might have been a little too excited for the hopped chocolate event why don't you join chocolate and easter bonnie and make sure everything's dandy with our candy friend if you missed my fnaf ar video covering this dude i'll leave it linked down below moving on to news on the fnaf ports we finally have pizza sim on the playstation 4. they released a five minute long video showing off the game running on the playstation 4 and and also, at the very end of that trailer, they had footage of UCN running on PS4. But anyways, going back to Pizza Sim on PS4, they released an apology over on Twitter, talking about some bugs that were in the game on launch day. They said, we submitted a day one patch on the 19th before launch, and best we could tell it would launch with the rest of the game. We are working with Sony to get it resolved. It seems the day one patch we had already submitted and thought would launch with Pizza Sim on PS4 did not publish. We are working with Sony to get it released. The patch includes fixes on the following. Fixed issues with liability stagnation. Fixed unlimited money exploit. Added more D-pad control throughout the game, fixed Candy Cadet, fixed Mediocre Achievement, made Insanity Ending a little easier, fixed Unlimited Playtest Exploit, fixed the inability to access the bottom two floor tiles on the largest floor plan, and other miscellaneous minor issues. We will keep you informed as to the progress of working with Sony to get the patch out. So there is that that was posted not too long ago, so hopefully that releases soon, because I remember a lot of those bugs were also on on the Switch version of of um of Pizza Sim, so hopefully they can get that out soon because those bugs, while fun, uh, can be quite frustrating in game. All right, boys, this is editing Johnny Blocks. I'm hopping in because I wanted to do a deeper dive into the trailer, the gameplay trailer, I guess you could say, for UCN on PS4 because there is a lot of stuff here. Not only the controls, which again we have been over before, but I will go over them again for those who may have missed those videos. First up, I just want to know, Click Team, why was there like two minutes of Baby just doing nothing? It's so weird. I don't <laughs> I don't know if that was on accident, but uh yeah. Here is the main menu screen or the the roster screen with all the sub menus. So you hold triangle to erase all the data. You hold L1 and R1 to calibrate analog sticks. And you can see they're using the mouse to move around the character roster and they're pressing uh the cross symbol to increase the AI difficulty and the uh the circle to decrease it. Yeah, so you just have to hover over them and then hit the corresponding uh, buttons. You have to hit the corresponding buttons. And it does seem like you have to actively go over and click on a menu to open it up and to activate anything. Which, as you can see, even the person playtesting this, getting the footage, is having a bit of difficulty moving around. So that's not, that's not a good sign right off the bat. And again, you can see there you have to click the go button. And here are the controls. Again, we have 
we, we've gone over them before, so I shouldn't need to spend too much time on them here. I will say my least favorite thing right now is that they swapped the mask and the monitor buttons. You know, in the normal game on PC, the mask is over here and the monitor is over here. It's not a big issue, I just don't get why they would switch them. On the D-pad, you got the doors. On the stick, the left stick, you turn everything off. Left trigger and up and down on the D-pad for all of your uh, systems, which as you can see later on in the video, they do actually show up on the screen when you're in the office and you use them. You use the cursor on the A button or the right trigger and select with the left analog. So it appears that you can use the analog stick, which is really nice. That's for the cameras and then you have, again, L button for the monitor, or button for the mask. Start button, you hold that down to go back to the menu. Then you have all of these wacky mechanics. Y, change music, which I'm assuming you can only do when you're on the kitchen camera. B, to cancel. I'm not quite sure what that means. A for the flashlight, and X button is basically everything else. Catch the fish for old man C, close L chips, add, and wind the music box for the marionette. So as I'm editing, I notice that they're showing footage for the PS4, right? And on the control display, it shows a controller for the PS4. Yet in the in the like the captions, I don't know what to call them, it says YBAX which is the Xbox controller. I think I remember that being an issue when they first released the control, so hopefully they can fix that uh, before they release the game. Though again, I remember them uh, having that problem, having that mistake like last year, so... I mean, hopefully they get to it soon because that is gonna cause a lot of confusion. And then you press down on the right stick to turn on and off the desk fan. And then we're in the office, and as you can see, yes, we do use the mouse to move around, and I'm guessing we have to use the mouse to click the wet floor sign here. Open up the monitor. And then they choose to move around with the cursor, which again, I think is gonna be very difficult. Collect some fast coins with the cursor. That's gonna be annoying in 5020 to get the death coin. Use the mask. There's the doors in action. So to reset the ventilation, again, you have to move your mouse over to this small little button right here. Oh, that's gonna be frustrating. And again, as you can see, when they go to change the system settings, <laughs> like it's PC, uh, just the systems, it shows up in the um, in the office, which is so, so helpful. Click team, thank you. And you can see as you're scrolling, it'll highlight them in yellow, and then when you activate it, it'll turn blue, I assume. Come back into the monitors. And you can see Nightmare Mangle is in Cam 02. So usually here you would either cam stall by staying on the monitor, or you could just buy their plushie. And by stay on the monitor, I mean stay on Cam 02. But I don't think they do that here. Nope, they change cams. What a what a terrible idea. Oh, and there's Foxy's parrot. Now something interesting here. When they go to click on the parrot, watch what happens. They activate the flashlight. Now on 5020, first off, you should never click the parrot on 5020, just a terrible idea. But if Nightmare BB's here, and he's he's still sitting, you're dead right there. You're just dead, like there's nothing you could do if you want to click on the parrot, but Nightmare BB sat down. You're just straight up dead. I don't think there's a way you can get around that, because no matter what, you have to hit something. I think, if anything, it should have been the the button that catches the fish, closes the ad, all that stuff. Because in that case, the button doesn't do anything if there's no ad, if Old Man Consequences isn't on the screen, if you're not in the camera to wind the music box. So I think that should have been the button that will click on things, you know? But I don't know anything, it, it could not work out that button to be the, uh, the click button. I, I don't know. I just think that'll screw over a lot of people. Um, so, yeah, that that's my little insight. And then, we're at the, yeah. We're at the end of the video, Nightmare Mangle is jump-scaring you. Something that's interesting is that you can see that they put the office together in, uh, pieces. I think the main thing to look at here is Candy Cadet. He shakes, but not with the office. Pay close attention. You see how he kind of, like, jitters and shakes on his own, not really in sync with the office. 
it doesn't mean a whole lot. Uh, I I don't really like it because it's not really similar to the PC, but it's nothing uh, big at all. So yeah, that is UCN on PS4. It's coming soon to console. I don't know how soon soon is because I believe they said soon like last month, but I don't know. I'm being patient. I think Click Team has done an amazing job with the ports, and I can't wait to be tortured by 5020. So back to the normal FNAF news video. Have fun. Smash the like button. Subscribe. Follow my Twitch. Yay. Moving on to news about security breach. We have insider info that Leon Riskin is making music for the game. If you don't know, Leon Riskin has made song tracks for the entirety of the franchise uh, as far back as FNAF World, I believe. FNAF World, Sister Location, um, Pizza Sim, I believe he was on UCN. Hope Wanted as well, he's done a lot with the franchise, so I'm very, very happy to hear that he's coming back for SB. The track that we hear in the gameplay trailer for Security Breach is apparently called Scratch Marks on the Ceiling Remix, or Mix. I think Leon Riskin has some great tracks, I think he's done a lot for the franchise, I think he's very underrated. I think he's a very underrated um, person who works on the franchise, because his tracks are always bangers. So I'm very happy to hear once again that he is back working on the new title. And I hate to cut it short, but all the other news are about the Fazbear Fanverse initiative, and I would love to save those for a future FNAF news video. One out of Flumpty's 3, Pop Goes Evergreen, and also, mainly, FNAF Plus. I'm sure you guys have already heard the news about One Night at Flumpty's 3, I'm sure you've also seen some news on Evergreen, but there has been a lot of news on Five Nights at Freddy's Plus. And I want to save all that for a future FNAF news video that will be mainly focusing on the initiative. And also, if you want more content from me, because videos have been kind of slow, I'm sorry. I did a nine hour long stream over on my Twitch channel the other day, and it really would mean a lot if you just went over there and gave it a follow. You don't have to subscribe with your free Twitch Prime, though if you do have it, you know, much appreciated. And all that self-plugging out of the way, that's it for me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow with FNAF Security Breach Week Day 1, and then that'll go on for again, nine days. Thank you guys so much for the support. You guys mean a lot to me, and I'll see you on the flip side.